Good morning guys, it's Neela, founder of Stoked Yogi here, and I wanted to give you guys a quick video tutorial today on how to make some new images for your blog or your Instagram or wherever you might want to use them. So the kind of graphic that I'm talking about making is basically a text or image mask which is like what you're seeing right here. So this is one that I did for my friend Shan. This is a text mask, so you can do this just by adding black text and then adding the image that you wanna fill behind it. These are a couple more examples using black and white clip art. And then this is an image that, of myself that I actually converted to black and white to a stencil form and then um, filled in the background. So today I'm just gonna show you guys quickly how to do the text mask and then how to use a black and white clip art. So let's get started. Hey! So the first thing that you're gonna do when you get to Pick Monkey is click on design, and then you're gonna choose a canvas for your design. Let's pretend we're making this for Instagram, so we're gonna make it a square. It's gonna open automatically with a white canvas, as you can see over here. Now, later down the line, I could show you guys how to do this with a different color canvas, but for today, we're just gonna stick with white since the background of most blogs are white, the background of Instagram is white, so white and apply. The next thing that you're gonna do is choose the image or add the text that you want to fill. So we're gonna do this by adding what's called an overlay. So I'm gonna come over to the left menu bar, click on the butterfly, and click on add your own. Now I have the Ganesha Silhouette saved right here on my desktop, so I'm gonna open that file. And then I'm gonna resize it to fill the size of the canvas that I'm using. So once it's on there, I need to combine or flatten these images. So come down here, there's a little um, two squares and a down arrow. It's gonna say combine all image elements. Click that button. The little monkey will say combined. Once that's done, you'll open up the image that you want to use to fill the background. So. Let's make him glitter this time. So I have some glittery images that I saved here. We'll make him mermaid glitter. So I'm gonna pick this image that I also have saved on my desktop. I'm gonna open it and then I need to resize it so that it fills all of the space where there's currently black. So I'm gonna fill it up, make sure that it's the right size. Ta-da, isn't it beautiful? Wait, we're missing something, <laughs> okay. So we need to go over to the overlay menu and then select blend mode. And I'm gonna choose add. So once that's done, I'll click out of here. I can leave it just like this. Once you're done, just hit save. We're gonna call this guy Glitter Ganesha. Save to my computer. Make sure the size is good. This one's 2000 by 2000, it's a good size. Instagram is 600 by 600, but if you make it bigger, the image quality will look better. Okay, so that's how you make an image if you already have the clip art, but if you wanna make one using text, stick with me for a couple more minutes and I'll show you how. So first thing we're gonna do is go to design, and just because it's gonna be a more linear shape, I'm gonna choose Facebook cover as my example. Um, we can always resize this later if needed, or we can crop it if needed to get it to be the right shape. The canvas color will always be white. Let's apply that. And then the first thing that we're gonna do is add the text that we want to fill. So clicking on the left menu bar on add text. And then I'm gonna come in here and I'm just gonna type in stay salty, which is one of our Stoked Yogi taglines or quotes. And as you can see, it's really small, so I'm gonna to need to resize it to make it work on this canvas. And it's better to work bigger rather than smaller, even if you know that you're gonna be uploading it to somewhere that's smaller, just because um, it'll keep the image resolution higher. So go ahead and resize your image until you have it about how you want it, and that looks pretty good. And then I'm gonna crop off just because it is my, one of my pet peeves. I'm gonna crop off the extra white space. Okay, so now I have the text that I want to fill and I need an image to fill it with. So since this is kind of like about the ocean, I'm just gonna to go to Google and I'm gonna search ocean background. 
I could also search ocean images and I'm going to select one that looks good to me. And this one looks fine, so I'm just going to drag it onto my desktop, go back to PicMonkey. And before I can overlay the ocean image, I need to combine the text with the white background. So I'm going to do that by coming down to the bottom menu here and selecting Combine. Combine all image elements and you'll see it says Combined. Then I'm going to come back to the left menu bar and click on Overlays. Add my own. Select the ocean image that I just stole from Google. Resize it. Then you're going to reposition the overlay approximately where you think you're going to want it. And under Blend Modes, select Add. So I can then move it around. Maybe I want it to look a little bit darker. I can move it to the darker part of the image. That looks pretty good to me. Once I have it where I want, I'm going to click outside of here and then I'll just save the image. So that's it. I hope that that was really easy for you. If you have questions, just leave me a comment and I will answer them. See you guys later.